Welcome to Reliance Training on Getting Started with Reliance RCM for Reliability-Centered Maintenance. In this tutorial, I'll cover an overview of Reliance RCM so you can start your own analysis. Note that details on adding and editing data in the RCM Decision Diagram and RCM Worksheet are covered in another Getting Started with Reliance RCM tutorial, with a focus on adding RCM data. To start, we are signed into Reliance and viewing the Welcome dialog. If you do not have this open, click the Help drop-down in the top right of your screen and click Welcome to Reliance. On the Welcome dialog, I make sure that RCM is selected using the module selectors here on the left. We will be using our drone example in this tutorial, so I'll click Open Example Analysis. If you have already opened and modified the drone example analysis, you can easily remove all of your changes and return to the example analysis in its as-supplied state by clicking Revert Example in the sidebar, which is highlighted in the message that Reliance is now showing. This is not necessary in this case, so I'll click Got It to clear the message. Reliance displays the RCM Decision Diagram for DFMEA, which is indicated here in the sidebar. So here on the screen, we can see the sidebar here on the left, this dark gray area, the analysis tree pane to the right of the sidebar, which contains our system structure, and then the RCM pane here on the right side of the screen. This provides access to the RCM decision diagram and the RCM worksheet tabs, both of which display RCM data for the selected analysis tree item. The analysis tree section allows you to create a hierarchical representation of the system or process you are analyzing. You can use the analysis tree to break down your system in any way you want for easier data management. You do not have to use the analysis tree if you prefer not to. Each analysis tree item can have its own RCM data. This allows you to organize your RCM data into manageable sections. In this example, only the quadcopter drone required RCM analysis. You can edit the structure of the analysis tree by clicking the Edit button at the top of the analysis tree pane. And note that Reliance RCM supports modeling your product or system visually using the analysis diagram. More details about the analysis diagram are included in the Getting Started with Reliance Analysis Diagram video. To see more of the analysis tree and RCM data, let's first collapse the sidebar. And to see more RCM details, let's resize the analysis tree window using the splitter control. Next, we'll focus here on the RCM data pane. The main RCM window has two tabs that include all data related to the RCM process. The decision diagram and the RCM worksheet. Both the Decision Diagram and RCM Worksheet are customizable. The Drone Example uses a built-in RCM template supplied with Reliance RCM. You can modify the supplied templates or create your own unique ones. With the Quadcopter Drone selected here in the Analysis Tree, first we'll review the Decision Diagram. The Decision Diagram pane consists of the flowchart-like diagram on the left, and the Failure Mode data pane here on the right. The Decision Diagram displays a series of questions that help you determine the best approach for your maintenance plan for the specific Failure Mode selected. If I click the Failure Mode drop-down list, I can view the list of Failure Modes associated with the Quadcopter Drone. The Failure Modes identified in Reliance FMEA are shown. Note if you choose to use Reliance RCM in a standalone fashion and not integrated with Reliance FMEA, this list would show failure modes entered directly into Reliance RCM. I'll make sure the Low Battery Life Failure Mode is selected here in the list. The Failure Mode section then displays the results of the decision diagram process, including the failure consequences and recommended tasks. The lower section displays the properties associated with the currently active question in the decision diagram. The currently active question is highlighted in yellow in the decision diagram. You can also see the justification 
and the answer to the question which is highlighted. I can click the Next button at the bottom of the Properties section to go to the next question in the diagram. So you can use the Next and Previous buttons to navigate through the decision diagram. You can also choose to filter your decision diagram for viewing. There are three options for viewing the decision diagram. All will show all possible questions and answers. Possible outcomes shows only the answer path for answered questions and both paths for unanswered questions. Selection only shows only the path of the answer for answered questions and nothing below unanswered questions. First, let's review the All view to show all possible decision diagram paths. Next, let's choose Selection Only for the Low Battery Failure Mode. I'll click Next several times to review the series of questions and answers. As well as noted justifications. Note that the end result is to periodically replace the battery to avoid a battery failure and mitigate the probability of a damaged drone. Next, let's review the RCM worksheet. So I simply click the RCM DFME worksheet tab. The RCM worksheet tab name indicates which FMEA your RCM is connected to. In this case, we are working in conjunction with our DFMEA, so the tab is labeled RCM DFME worksheet. In other cases, the tab may be labeled RCM PFME Worksheet, RCM FAMIA MSR Worksheet, or RCM FAMICA Worksheet. The RCM Worksheet is your main working area for performing your reliability-centered maintenance analyses. The RCM Worksheet is where you describe the maintenance tasks required to implement your maintenance plan. The RCM Worksheet is color-coded to help when completing your analyses. The various data groups are color-coded to help visualize their relationships. Failure mode and related data appears in blue, whereas task and related data appears in orange. When you select the RCM worksheet, the failure mode you were working on in the decision diagram is automatically selected for you. And here we can view the task information entered for the low battery life failure mode. You can see that the end result for the low battery life failure mode is to periodically replace the battery to avoid a battery failure and mitigate the probability of a damaged drone. Finally, to generate a report of the RCM worksheet, I click Report from the sidebar. The Report Options dialog appears. I can enter a title for my report and also select if I want to report on just the current RCM, all RCMs, or the RCM for the current subsystem and all children. I'll use the default selections here on the Report Options dialog and click Report to generate the report. The report appears here in a new browser tab. Note that I can easily download this report using the download button here to various electronic formats. When done viewing this report, I simply close the browser tab and go back to Reliance. This concludes this Getting Started with Reliance RCM Overview tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website or contact us with any questions or to obtain pricing and purchasing information.